Hello everyone and welcome to another video. For today's weapon we have the Sakura Dual Sestra, which is a syndicate weapon that can be acquired from the parent sequence, the Corpus faction. Now uh, you need to be max rank to get the weapon. And with that out of the way, we can get to the stats of the weapon. Obviously this build requires 5 forma. I know it's a bit much, but maybe four or five I don't know it depends on you actually but I just put on whatever fits now uh, moving on the accuracy of the weapon is not that good it's a uh, maybe in the medium or average but yeah critical chance of the weapon is pretty high but sadly the critical multiplier is <laughs> below average it's it even says in the wiki it's really low <laughs> which is disappointing that would have made the weapon far more powerful now the magazine is 120 which is not surprising because this weapon is basically laser machine pistols which is awesome by itself obviously it's alarming and the reload is sadly a bit slow which is normal for s so for some uh, dual weapons status chance is pretty good it's pretty average there can be adjusted and improved on this weapon also mainly does puncture damage and as you can see there is no slash but don't let that fool you just because a weapon has no well damage type doesn't mean it's a bad weapon right away now First off, let me demonstrate how this weapon works. And the best way to dem demonstrate it without mods would be against one of the strongest enemies in the game. Well, maybe not really strong, but tough by itself. It's the Corrupted Heavy Gunners because of their heavy armor. So, oh yeah, um, their level is 140, the maximum. And their health is yellow because that's their armor. So here we go. Okay, right away you notice, th although the fire rate is pretty good, the weapon has a considerable recoil. Like I said, it's a machine gun pistol, so you're not really expected to fire accurately, but you can adjust the recoil just be mindful of it and as you saw the reload is slow so yeah be cautious of that next you saw the criticals the impact and criticals that are being used which is a good sign now details about the weapon if you see on the lower right you can see a symbol right next to the ammo basically it fills up with affinity which means uh, well level up points that you get from killing enemies or doing other stuff during missions once you fill that up the weapon will produce an area of effect uh, blast damage that gives all the enemies radiation damage but rewards you with extra shields so yeah it can protect you and it can confuse enemies around you which is a good bonus and also another thing to note about the weapon is its ammo it's a uh, it's a bit harsh on its ammo if despite having 120 clips but you can easily fix that with a carrier or a carrier prime or if you have a warframe that can produce more ammo yeah you can fix that there are many ways to fix the ammo problem but I will leave that up to you. So moving on, we're going to the standard build. Standard build meaning the mods that are used are easy to acquire and easy to level up. They're fairly common and a bit, not a bit, they're cheaper to get. So here we go. Sorry, che cheaper to get and cheaper to level up. So now here we go. First off, Hornet Strike, of course, a mandatory mod which gives you 220% pistol damage. 
this is important and should never be absent. Viral diffusion gives you multi-shot 120% and lethal torrent which increases the fire rate and multi-shot by 60%. Now multi-shot the way it works is firing one bullet for example can become two bullets in one shot. That way you'll have more chances of inflicting elemental damage. So next we have Pistol Pestilence mod which gives you 60% toxin and a 60% increase in status chance. And since the weapon's status chance is pretty good, this gives you a 44.8%, which is a good good number considering the multi-shot you have. Next is Pathogen Rounds and Convulsion, which gives you 90% of electricity, while the other one gives you toxin damage. And electricity and poison combined gives you corrosive damage. Now corrosive damage is good against armored units. Remember when I showed you the yellow health? Th that's the armor of the enemy. But be careful, if the health of the enemy has no more armor, you will do less damage. That's just the way how it works. I mean, it sucks, but that's how they designed it. Next we have quick draw, which gives you 48% more reload speed. That way, you don't get <laughs> you won't die if you try to reload. Next is Pistol Gambit. Even though the multiplier of the weapon is pretty low, we can still increase the critical chance. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now we get to test it out. And since these guys, I'm uh, sorry, these girls have armor, they're the perfect enemies with corrosive damage. There you go. It takes one full clip, but if you say this, you can either switch the pistol gambit with target cracker, which increases tar uh, critical damage, but it's really up to you. Okay, there we go. Now keep in mind, I'm not using my Warframe powers. So imagine that with your abilities and you'll get more damage out of it. And like I said, as you see on the lower right, the ammo has been decreased significantly. But yeah, th that's a given since this weapon is, well, a bit ammo hungry. Hang on, uh, let me just... Uh, Show you what target cracker is. <laughs> here we go. You can switch it out with this mod right here. I don't know. It's it's pretty low already, but like I said, it's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna die. Give me a sec. Let me uh get some health real quick. Ow. <laughs> okay, maybe three is too much. I know it's cheating. I know it's cheating. I'm sorry. But I don't want to make the video too long and bore you guys. Okay, somewhat better. <laughs> but yeah. Next, we move on to a viral build. <laughs> Sorry, that was a messy one. Now, viral is basically. Uh, k if I can just find the right mod, give me a sec. 
Uh huh. Sorry, sorry. Let me just switch that up. Okay, there we go. Viral is poison and ice. Now, viral, instead of attacking armor, you're directly attacking the health of the enemy. Mostly, this uh, element is more effective against enemies with no armor. And the best enemies for that would be the corpus. Because the corpus don't have armor, like the grenier or the co corrupted. No. What they have is shields, but shields do not protect you against. Oops, sorry. Shields cannot protect you against poison damage. So that's a very interesting detail. Does it make the corpus weak? No. The corpus are strong because they have weird weapons. Not weird, more of unique weapons that make it difficult for you to kill them. And if they have a higher level, the harder it gets to kill them. So here we go. See that? Looks easy right now because they're not moving. And when they're paused, you get um, extra damage. So yeah. Next we'll get only one just to save time. And to make it live, to make it genuine. And there we go. Oh, I, like I said, I forgot to mention, sorry, that the spread is, uh, I'm sure you saw, is pretty wide. So the closer you are, the more accurate. But if you're far away, it goes everywhere. But moving on, now we move on to the expensive build. Expensive build is, I'm sure you know, is mods that are quite expensive to acquire or rare. Not only that, they're expensive to build up. So here we go. Now we have Magnum Force, which gives you very less accuracy, but the damage is really increased. So it's a trade-off, really. This mod can be found in Oricon Vaults. And in case you don't know what it is, uh, you can find it in the Void, not Void, sorry. In the Infested Derelict Missions. But for more clarity, details about the weapon and the key mods used will be in the description as always. Just to give you a better description of everything. Next we have Stunning Speed. This is a nightmare mod. You have to farm it, sadly. But it gives you 40% reload speed and 30% more status chance. Pretty good, if, you say so, if I say so myself. And, I, and as I've demonstrated in the previous video, not previous, the uh, past video, that this mod, even though the reload is a bit decreased, is still good. And now we have Prime Pistol Gambit, which plays with the critical chance and gives it 187%. This mod can be found with Barrokitir, the Void Trader, which comes every every two weeks, I believe. It's not a guarantee when the mods will be available, but when they d but before they do, I recommend you farm ducats and credits, because. These mods are pretty expensive, but once you get them and level them up to maximum, I assure you, it's very much worth it. Even though it's pretty expensive. Okay, moving on, we have the Corrosive build on. And of course, Corrosive is good against armored units. Closer. There we go. A bit sloppy, sorry, but it got the job done. I know the way I format this weapon is a bit messy. That's because I was testing stuff. But, like I said, I leave it up to you. 
these builds are more of a personal thing if you don't like the way I demonstrate or build the weapon that's fine you're free to judge and change it I'm not stopping you all I'm doing is giving you guys uh, you guys and gals some insight I think that's the right word but whatever I'm rambling now next we have a viral build There we go. Now normally this is where we, we would end the video, but no, it's not. Because this time, I have a ribbon. A ribbon for the weapon. <laughs> One of the few ribbons that I have that I can use. <laughs> Ribbons are so hard to get, well, to me anyway. And it's hard to get the right one. But anyway here. I have here the dual Sestra Hexacron. It's a Riven mod which gives you which gives me 239.6% critical chance and 148.8% status chance. It gives me less zoom but the accuracy doesn't matter because you get to hit harder. And since we have more critical chance you can switch this out with Prime Target Cracker. That way you have more critical damage, meaning more pain, which is always good. Oh, sorry, I uh, didn't switch the mod. Sorry, my, my brain. It's late at night, sorry. <laughs> I know that's not a good excuse. Gamers should not be affected by late nights, but I can't help it, man. <laughs> Sorry, I just found it so amusing. And I didn't use my Warframe powers yet. And to give you a glimpse of how effective it is, now is the time to use it. Instantly deleted. But yeah, Riven mods, even though they're a bit difficult to get and very expensive to roll, if you can find the right one, it's a good mod. Uh, oh, it, it doesn't show, but I think I rolled this a few times. I don't know if it shows, but yeah, I remember. I think I rolled this. I think either that or just got extremely lucky, but that's impossible. My luck is never good. But yeah, about ribbons, the distrib. Uh, yeah, the this position, as explained here, the more dots that are full, the more effective the mod is. And since this is up to four out of five, you can guarantee this web this mod is a monster. Now this position is effective, affected by popularity of the weapon. So if it's very, if the weapon is very popular, the disposition gets lower, which sucks, but. That's just the way it works. And since I have 4, meaning the weapon is not that popular. Which is fine by me, because it's benefiting me. But yeah, I think this is the, this is the best place to end the video, because... Oh my god, it's already 20 minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested. It really helps the channel out. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video.